I thought I saw something. I was about to see what the heck is that? I don't like when I be seeing stuff move from the corner of my eye, bro. Because I low-key feel like I'm going crazy. Like, what? my channel or welcome to my channel this is your first time seeing me hello my name is diamond janae here on youtube i do hair videos makeup videos vlogs yes your girl can officially say she's a vlogger now so you know but anyways with all that stuff being said please don't forget to subscribe turn on your post notifications if you're feeling your girl hopefully you are because not to toot my own horn but your girl's a vibe just saying but yeah so as you guys can see in today's video i'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me type of situation without further ado let's get into it so i basically have you guys all up close and personal just because i'm going to be moving on to my eyes first of course per usual as you guys know i like to have one eye already done off camera and then i like to do one eye on camera because number one it saves time and number two it gives me time to practice and make sure I know exactly what I want to do as far as my makeup goes. Am I, I feel like I look I feel like I'm a little too close. Am I a little too close? Eh, it's whatever. You know, I, I don't bite, I promise. Just a little bit, just a little bit, you know. Um, ciao. Anyway, so. Yeah, I was a little too close. So I feel like this is like an okay length for me, like space. Like I feel like I'm not too like all up in the camera. So I think we good, we good, we good. So I use three <laughs> different eyeshadow palettes because I'm super extra. So I use the Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival 3 Love Tahiti eyeshadow palette. I also use the Morphe 35V palette. And then I also use the Butter London palette as well. I guys absolutely love this palette in particular because like look at the colors like just just look at the colors like look how pretty these colors look but like. yeah guys how are you guys doing i don't know like i said before i feel kind of weird because i have not actually sat down and actually did like an actual like sit down video in so long so this feels kind of weird. It feels good, but it feels weird. You know what I mean? But yeah, honestly guys, the reason why I, I was consistent for a little bit and then I stopped being consistent again because the love ball was coming up and it's like planning for that. Like a lot of people I feel like don't even realize how, because I was definitely one of those people, but like you don't even realize how much actually goes into planning an event like that. And like basically like the love ball. So it was a ball, you know what I mean? So like gowns, like nice, like dressed up. Oh, and if anyone was wondering, I'm using the P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade Rumor, Rumor. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I'm wrong, forgive me. And the color number three. I absolutely love <laughs> this product. Like, I switched between this and the Be Perfect eyeshadow primer, but I've really been into the P. Louise lately. Because it's like, you you really get that color that you need. Like, you really get that color payoff with this product. So I would definitely say this is definitely worth the hype. I will say, though, guys, I mean, it was fun. I will say a lot definitely does go into planning an event like this and i just feel like it's one of those situ i mean granted it's for an amazing cause don't get me wrong and of course i'm gonna link all the information down below for you guys as well and then also i did vlog a little bit of it so you guys definitely will be seeing that but yeah but i had i mean i had fun but i know that if i didn't have so much other stuff i needed to do i would have had more fun because at the end of the day like yeah, it was a, like a, a ball slash party type of thing, but I still was technically working. You know what I mean? So I couldn't fully enjoy it the way I wanted it to, but thank God, thank you, Jesus. Like I said before, I'm the VP, Jasmine's the president. So when you're best, when you're working with your best friend, it makes things so much easier. It really, it really does. Like y'all don't understand how much 
Jasmine has literally helped me with everything because mind you so basically everybody on the board had different stuff that they were kind of responsible for and one of the things that me and Jasmine were responsible for was getting the decorations together right so that was stressful <laughs> that was stressful because it's like because mind you like the event was for 150 people and trying to find enough supplies for 150 people gets very tricky like when it kind of like we were literally struggling for a while to try to figure out what type of plates and forks and stuff we were gonna get because it's like we were seeing stuff but it was way too expensive like we like we kept thinking that oh, okay this looks cheap this looks like it'll be okay but then when you did the math and you realize how much you're gonna have to buy because mind you like just because it's 150 people does not mean get exactly 150 plates get exactly 150 forks and spoons and whatnot like it's you gotta get extra of that to make sure that you have it like just in case somebody happens to drop it on the floor or anything like that so like that was super annoying because i don't like i said before i don't understand why it was so complicated but yeah how do y'all like i don't know if any of y'all noticed or not but i usually have my mirror on the left side of me i mean i usually have it on the right side of me but I decided to move it to the left because I'm like, wait a minute, why do I always do my makeup like that when my my right side is my good side? I mean, granted, it's gonna be flipped once I edit it, but I, I feel as though the cuter side of my face is the side, so. But yeah, but the overall planning for it, like I said before, Jasmine, big shout out to you, sis, because you made it a lot more enjoyable. Like, even though both of us were stressed, I would have been more stressed if I would have been doing it with somebody else or I would have been doing it by myself. So big shout out to you. Love you. <laughs> I, I know both of us is happy this drawing is over because listen, it was a lot. It was a lot. Okay. And I'm basically just going to add some of that brown back into it to kind of help smoke it out just a little bit. And I know some people might be thinking, well, what was the point of you cutting the crease? to have the lid shade be exactly where I wanted it to be. That's why I cut the crease. And now I'm going back in, smoke it out a little bit. That's that's how I like to do things, okay? It's okay, you still, y'all see the other result, okay? It still turns out cute. And I apologize if some of you guys have seen me use some of these products a lot, but this is the same stuff that I use to recreate the look on Saturday, so. Listen, Mama was on a time crunch, okay? Like, y'all don't understand, I was legit. Oh man, that was stressful, cause mind you, I had everything picked out. I made sure that I had everything pre-ready so I didn't run into that situation of me having a rush, and then guess what? I still ended up having a rush. Forgot what I was even saying. But yeah, the love ball itself was pretty fun. I will say that. It's, I was about to say, as far as the, cause, cause we booked the venue, right? We booked, well, Angel booked the venue, Jazz's mom. She's the CEO, she's the founder of the company. Yada, yada, yada. She booked the venue. Cause all I know is if I would have been the one to book the venue, I would not have booked the venue at the place that we had the love ball at because yeah. <laughs> Listen, how am I even gonna go about saying this? Them people. I don't wanna even say them people, cause it was just one really bad experience I had, but at the same time, all of them were kinda kinda funky. But basically, long story short, right? So we had booked this venue or whatever, and those that know, know, whatever, whatever. But we booked the venue and I, like the venue was gorgeous. I even had said in the vlog I posted yesterday that, hey, you know, like I'm so excited. The place is gorgeous, set it there. And don't get me wrong, the place still is nice. Like just because the people are, are over controlling and rude does not mean that the place, I, I can admit the place is nice. Just, just like how if I happen to be beefing with a female, I can still admit that that female is cute or not. I'm not gonna sit up here and call you ugly just because I don't care for you. I'm not that type of person. So the venue is still pretty. Long story short, they're very micromanagey. Like they're very like micromanagey, nosy, wanting to know exactly what's going on with what, yip, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. And it's just like, I'm sorry, but we, I'm pretty sure, I don't know why I keep dancing around it, but basically long story short, what ended up happening was, I didn't really start getting annoyed by the people at the venue until the day before. Cause basically the event was on Saturday, right? And they let us come in on Friday 
to decorate so we didn't have to decorate everything the same day which was really nice i'm like okay that's awesome this and a third blah 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 so me and jasmine had made plans to go over there and decorate and the plan was is that we were gonna get everything 100 percent decorated so we weren't gonna have to worry about coming back to the venue the day of and then all we can just do is just focus on getting ourselves ready and not have any last minute bs happen right that ended up not happening but anyways, so long story short, so I pull up to the place, right? And mind you, I get there before Jasmine does, but I think Jasmine was maybe like five, 10 minutes away from the place. So I'm like, okay, cool. Mind you, again, we're in charge of decorating. So all the decorations got delivered to my house. So with that being said, like we, so basically like I had a bunch of stuff in my car and instead of, and I'm over here like, okay, cool, whatever. So basically with the way this building is set up, they have reserved parking. Mind you, I have literally pulled up to that place. The, this, that incident that happened on Friday, I think that was like the third, it was, I think that was like the third time I actually pulled up to the venue. Mind you, because I know that each time I was going there, I was literally gonna be there for like two seconds. I was only gonna be in there for maybe like five, 10 minutes tops. I parked in the reserve spot because it was the closest spot there and I wasn't trying to have to do all that work, uh, having to do all that walking or whatever, whatever. Because it was a really big parking lot, but a lot of the spaces were taken up or whatever. So I know some of you guys would be like, well, Diamond, why did you park in a reserved parking spot if it says reserved? Because again, like I said before, every other time I parked in that spot and it wasn't even a particular spot. It was literally just random spots. I didn't care. I don't even, to this day, I don't even know if it even says the people's names or not, to be honest with you. I just know that it says reserved. But anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. I gotta wet, I gotta wet my sponge. Okay, I'll be right back. I feel like every time I jump on camera, my curls are like unraveling more and more. <laughs> I feel like it's because I'm moving around too much. But anyways, so this time around, I already had in my mind that, okay, as soon as Jasmine shows up and we get everything out of my car into the place or whatever, I was gonna move my car because again, I have common sense. I know what reserved parking means. But again, like I said before, every other time that I went there, I always parked in one of the reserved spots because it was one of the closest spots and I knew that I wasn't gonna have to be there that long. So basically what ended up happening was, so that Friday I ended up parking in one of the random reserved spots, whatever, 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 right? So tell me how I'm literally waiting in the car, I would say for maybe like, two or three minutes literally i'm waiting for like two or three minutes all of a sudden this car pulls up next to me and obviously i look over because i saw something from the corner of my eye but i didn't think anything of it so i'm like okay whatever so all of a sudden the car parks or whatever right and then this old white man start taps basically taps on my window so then i open the car and in my mind i'm already thinking like oh okay i'm probably parked in his spot let me explain to him why my car is parked here. Mind you, the thing that even got me even more irritated, my car was still on. My car was still on and I was still in my car, okay? So that's another thing that annoyed me because I'm over here like, here we go. So mind you, I wasn't expecting this guy to, to, to snap on me the way he did. Mind you, yes, he did snap on me. He was very rude and I hope he gets ran over by a car. I don't care, I said what I said. Anyways, I wasn't expecting him to act like that because mind you, every other time that I've been there, but you know what's so funny? Every other time that I was there, somebody else was with me. And that's an, and that's another thing that got me so angry because I'm like, oh, now you don't want to say nothing. Now, oh, wait, wait, now you want to say something when you see that I'm by myself. But when I was with other people, when I was with Angel, when I was with Jasmine, you want to be super nice. Hey, ladies, how are you guys doing today? Blah, 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 blah. But then when I'm by myself, all of a sudden you want to pop up and you want to try to pop off on me because you picked the wrong one. What I should have did was I should have whipped my phone out and started recording him. That's what I should have did. But I'm like, you know what? I'm not trying to sit up here and have this man be petty and have me cuss him out because that's honestly what I wanted to do because your girl was livid, okay? My bad, y'all. I'm trying to multitask right now because I'm also doing an Instagram reel. So, you know, that's that's just how it goes. I mean, I was mid rant, I will say, but I had to like pause to remember to switch over to like YouTube, Instagram. YouTube, Instagram. That's what I'm doing right now, multitasking. I'll get better at it, I promise. Oh, uh, and if any of you guys were wondering, I am using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 330. And then for foundation, I did use the Fenty Be Beauty Pro, 
Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. There we go. I don't know why I'm acting like I don't know what this product is called because I literally use it almost all the time. But I'm in the shade 350 if anybody was wondering. So 350 in the foundation, 330 in the concealer but anyways back to my story because i dad just got all the way sidetracked but basically so the what I, what the guy ended up doing was so he tapped on my window and before i even because mind you i knew what he was gonna say i already knew i already guessed why he was tapping on my window because why else would you be tapping on my window unless you're telling me that i'm parked in one of the reserve spots so i opened the door and i'm like I'm like, oh, good morning, because mind you, at this point, I think it was like 10 a.m. I was like, good morning, and before I can even get anything else out, this guy is like, this is reserved parking. You're not supposed to be parking here. So I'm trying to explain to him, and I, and I, well, I like I said, I tried to explain to him, but I know he probably wasn't listening to me, but I made sure to get my words out, because what you're not going to sit up here and do is think that you can talk over me, because that's what we're not doing. I will talk louder, and I sure enough did. Honestly, guys, the way this man was talking to me, I wanted to spit in his face so bad. And you Listen, and for those of y'all that know me like that, y'all know I do not get angry like that very easily. Like, it takes a lot for me to get that mad i was literally livid the only reason why i did not spit in this man's face and cuss him out and drive off was because i did not want him to be petty and be like oh you guys can't host the ball here anymore so i had i had to suck it up but to a certain extent because again i did not stay quiet you must have lost your mind but again it was one of those karen moments what would you call what do you call a male karen i can't even think bro what would you call a male Karen? I don't even know what you would consider. But that's basically what, what he was. He was a male version of a Karen. And I'm just like, wow. And again, it's like, you, you know when you get certain vibes from people. I just got that 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 racist type vibe from him. Honestly, like that that power trip, like, oh, that's the only sense of power that this poor little old man got. So he wants to sit up here and try to. I have to try it for a second. But he wants to try to sit up here and assert his dominance. And it's just like, first of all, you got the wrong mother freaking one. And like I said before, I just find it so funny how this man has never said anything but a, a nice hello or a how you doing when I'm with other people. But when I'm by myself, now all of a sudden he wants to act like he's the big shot or whatever. And so mind you, I'm, so I'm low-key going back and forth with him because I'm trying to explain to him, like, listen, like, I understand this is reserved parking, but this is the reason why I'm parked here. Like, I'm going to move my car if it's that big of a deal. And he's not letting me talk, so I'm talking over him because I'm like, but you're not going to sit up here and do a thing that you can talk over me. And because I, I was like, um, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, and I kept talking over him because you're not going to sit up here and keep talking over me and talking to me any old type of way. So he was very disgusting. Cause mind you, I was the only person there. It was literally just me and him. So it was my word against his, just in case anybody does want to say something. But I don't give a crap. I, there was no reason why he talked to me the way that he talked to me. So like I said before, at the end of the day, as bad as I wanted to spit it on his face, to spit in his face, and to cuss him out and drive off, I didn't. So I'm proud of myself and I know, cause y'all, listen i look crazy right now but listen every single time and i'm not even saying this to try to sound cocky or nothing like that because this is just straight up truth every single time that somebody does me dirty god takes care of it i mean it's so serious like y'all be surprised like there have been situations where people have stolen from me and then come to find out they end up losing their car and just a whole bunch of other stuff like i can give out so many different examples but i'm not gonna put all that on here <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, God always takes care of it for me, and God actually does way better than what I could have, if that makes sense. So I'm like, you know what? You can keep that rinky-dink little reserved parking spot, okay, while you're... Because that just goes to show how miserable you are, like, that you're really that mad about a parking spot, especially somebody who's trying to explain to you why they parked here. So I was like, sir, the only reason why I parked here was because I have to load the decorations. And so he's like, I don't care. 
I'm like, well, I don't care if this is a reserved spot then because at the end of the day, you're not letting me talk. That's a problem. And I don't, and you know what? I don't even think I even talked to Jazz's mom about this yet, but best believe I'm gonna talk to her about that in the meeting because, but anyways, big ass. Yeah, so, and like Jazz, like it was funny because Jasmine was even telling Eddie, like, yo, like Diamond don't get mad like that. Like Diamond be getting annoyed, she be getting irked, but Diamond do not be snapping like that for no reason. So, Jasmine got there, whatever, and then we ended up loading the stuff into the place and I just find it so and I mean so infuriating slash funny as weird as that sounds that because mind you at this point this this hot I don't I don't all I know is he was the bootleg he looked like the bootleg version of the Pillsbury Doughboy mixed with Mario that's that's like the perfect way I can describe this man I don't freaking know but anyways he had the audacity, cause mind you, like, so me and Jasmine put every all the decorations in the place, the, the place and stuff like that, and then we had to go ahead and get even more stuff out, cause we got all the stuff out that was in the back, in the back seat of my car, but we still had stuff that was in my trunk. But long story short, so we go out the venue, and then we go ahead and go through the office, and we're about to walk out the building, and then the guy stops us. Mind you, the same guy that just yelled at me for parking in his precious parking spot. But anyways, but yeah, with his disrespectful racism behind, I cannot stand that man, bro. Like if I were to ever see him in person, then again, no, let me not, let me not, let me not, let me, let me stop. Cause like I said before, God's gonna handle it, so let me not. But anyways, but he had the audacity to stop us and then try to be all nice. Cause mind you, at this point, Jazz is with me. And that's another reason why I was so annoyed. Cause now that I have somebody with me, now you want to sit up here and act all nice again. Like, don't do that. Keep that same energy when we were in the f***ing parking lot. Keep that same energy. So he proceeds to basically tell us that, oh, um, you guys don't have to walk all the way around. You guys can go through the kitchen entrance. This, that, and the third is closer if y'all, if you guys want to load up, if you guys need to get more stuff out, this, that, and the third, blah, 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 blah. You know, being all helpful or whatever. But in the, my, my mind the whole time, I'm like, yo, shut the f like, why the f are you talking right now? Okay, let me stop. I, I've told myself I have to stop cursing because I noticed that I picked up on that habit more. And I personally don't like to curse, so I, I gotta I gotta chill out. But I was just so annoyed because I'm like, how dare you? And the whole time, I'm giving this man the dirtiest look. And I know you see me because I'm standing right next to Jasmine. So I know you see me giving you this dirty, stink look right now and you're still just gonna try to act like you didn't just yell at me in the parking lot. And you're really stupid if you gonna sit up here and think that I didn't tell Jazza what happened. You're very stupid if you think I didn't tell her what happened. So you got the mother freaking nerve, bro. That's what really drives me nuts. When people sit up here and make me mad and disrespect me and then have the audacity to sit up here and try to act like everything's okay. That That is like next level anger right there. Because it's like, again, like, how dare you? For real, for real, like how dare you, like bro. But yeah, my bad guys, it's on my channel, I try to be positive for the most part, but I that needed to be said because there's a way that you talk to people and then there's a way that you treat people. I'm sorry that you feel salty, that you got your little rinky dink reserve spots and there's a bunch of black entrepreneurs and black millionaires and black business owners out there that are doing a thousand times better than you. I'm sorry that you're only claim to power or importance is a parking spot. I'm sorry if that's the case, but do not take that out on me. Do not take that out on me. So like I said before, I don't care what nobody says. I said what I said, nobody else was there but me and him, unfortunately. I should have started recording to be honest with y'all, but again, I was in the moment. And like I said, I don't, I don't take kindly to being yelled at, especially by a stranger i don't even first of all like my thing is this like you're not my mom you're not my dad you're not anybody of importance to me whatsoever what in the hell makes you think that you can talk to me the way you're talking to me right now you have lost your you you must have forgot to take your same pills in the morning or something and your mind just wasn't there for you to honestly think that you can sit up here and talk to me like that like you got me twisted don't don't i'll oh. I will say it took me like a good hour to finally calm down. It took like a, a good hot, and even then I was still aggravated because it's like, again, how dare you? I'm over the situation. Cause I will say, like I said before, God got me. So whatever, 
I can physically do or whatever I can do, whatever, whatever. It's nothing compared to what God can do. So I just gave that to God. I'm like, you know what, Lord, do whatever you want to do with this man. But he, it was, it was like, again, like just that really like nasty, just, this is the only thing I have going for me and for my life. So let me just sit up here and act like a whole a-hole about it. Like that's the type of vibes it was giving. So at the end of it, like when I thought of it that way, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I would be miserable too if that's the only thing I had going for me in my life. I would be miserable too. So you know what? It is what it is. And then, so, okay, so I had the issue with him. Now, thank God the actual day of the event, because mind you, they had explained to us that the actual day of the event, because long story short, they're like their own like, bit, like family owned business type of thing, I feel like. So there's literally only three people working there. So thank God that, so they basically had explained to us that oh, like the day of, one of them was gonna be there um, and like help control the lights in the room, which was, an, which was another thing that kind of got on my nerves because it's like, again, I'm, I just me being there, cause mind you, when I was there, they were, to me, they were being a little too nosy. Like we already explained to you how many times exactly what's gonna transpire here. And the fact that you keep asking is like, why are you, why do you keep asking for? And then on top of that, tell me how, I almost thought I lost this for a second. This is a Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. If some of you guys may or may not recognize it, but I'm in the shade tan. I absolutely love this product. This is my holy grail. Alyssa and Arnell put me onto this drawing. Best believe when I start hitting pan, I'm reordering this because this is bomb. What was I gonna say? Yeah, so basically like even like the day, so like I said before, like the day of, they said that they were gonna, that one of them were basically gonna be around to like help us and stuff like that. How, like to me, I don't understand what the whole issue with us using the lights were. Cause he was like, how, oh no, I control the lights. Cause okay, so there's a woman and then there's two guys, right? So the one guy was a complete a-hole, but he wasn't the guy that was there for the event. Thank God. But anyway, so there was this other, I didn't even get none of their names. I mean, nor is it really that important because they're all irrelevant to me at this point. But that sounded hella like, that to me sounded hella rude low key. But at the same time, that's honestly how, especially to, towards that man especially, you can kick rocks. Barefoot, okay? We ended up not decorating everything and we didn't have like the decorations completely together. So we ended up having to go back Saturday morning, unfortunately, to basically finish up. And he was there and again, like he was asking a bunch of questions like, oh, what's this for? What's the company about? And stuff like that. But again, it's like, to me, it's like, we already answered these questions and you're asking us these same questions again. And then on top of that too, cause they have security cameras there. This guy was literally, cause mind you, he, with his, Thing basically is is that he walks around the building and does whatever right tell me how the whole time we were there getting everything ready for the event he was literally glued if he wasn't glued to the security cameras he was in the venue watching me and Jasmine and it was so just annoying because again you just pick up that vibe that is more like what's the way I can describe it like y'all know like when you go shot like have you ever had a situation where you went to like a, a store whatever store it was whatever whatever and you're shopping looking around and then a sales associate comes up to you and it's like oh hey do you need any help blah 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 and then that same sales associate keeps coming up to you every two seconds asking you if you need help with anything and you get the vibe that they think that you're up to something that's the vibe that I got from him. And Jasmine can agree with me on this cause Jasmine was there. So she can agree with me on this. But I'm just like, why are you being so no, like why are you being so nosy for? Like we're literally just putting tablecloths on the tables. We're literally just getting the forks, knives and spoons folded up in Sanakas. We're literally just blowing up balloons. Like why do you keep coming over to us being nosy? And why are you glued down to the security cameras? Like to me, that was just very, it was just, it was just a lot of suspect activity going on. That guy didn't make me mad. He just annoyed me. Cause I'm just like, like I said before, I just got that vibe that it's like, like, why are you, why are you all up on us so much? Like relax. Like we already told you how many times what the event was going to be about. 
chill out you know what i mean but yeah i my bad y'all i don't even know how this is gonna turn out when i edit it because i don't like to jump on here and be miss negative but i had to get that out because ooh child it just goes to show i i'm personally proud of myself because i didn't snap the way i wanted to and i know like even like jasmine was telling me like yo like that was really mature you and this sign of third to not pop off on him like and she was like <laughs> she was like honestly if i would have been there i would have cussed him out and i was like i know i know but at the same time if you would have been there he would have never said nothing in the first place and that's 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 the funny part that's the funny part if jasmine was with me or if angel was with me he wouldn't have said nothing but because of the fact that i was by myself now all of a sudden he got the balls to say something i just think that is so hilarious but his day of reckoning is coming soon unfortunately i doubt i'm gonna know what happens to him because i don't want to be anywhere near that man but you can't, you can't sit up here and disrespect the child of God and think that nothing's gonna happen to you. Sorry, not sorry. Oh well. But on brighter news, guys, my makeup is almost done and I'm looking scrum diddly, yump, shiz. I'm excited. I'm trying to think, the only thing I really have to do, I need to record the next part of this reel is what I need to do. So, one second. But yeah, guys, so my face makeup is pretty much done. What, didn't it used to be in trend for women to wear their lips like this? But yeah, see, lips is looking nice and juicy. Face is looking flawless. Now all I have to do is use my trusty setting spray. Also, quick recap for my lips. I use the Maybelline Sensational or Color Sensational Lip Liner in the shade Rich Chocolate. That's what that looks like. And then I also used Praline and the NYX Butter Gloss, like I said earlier. And then I also used the NYX Lip Filler and Sink Lip Plumper. And now I'm using the Morphe Continuous Sunny Mist to spray my face. So, uh, yeah. I thought I saw some. All of us, what the heck is that? I don't like when I be seeing stuff move from the corner of my eye, bro. Because I low-key feel like I'm going crazy. Like, what? Yeah, guys. This is the finished look. So, yeah, so I made sure to put my accessories on because, like I said before, your girl's going to get ready to move to her living room so I can take the Instagram pictures that I need because, like I said before, there is no way I'm going to sit up here and let this look go to waste. It's just like, nah, like, this whole look is a vibe. Like, psh, bump that. I'm getting my pictures. But, yeah, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl down below. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media because, of course, your girl is going to be active on there as well. And on top of that, too, most likely, y'all going to see it first on Instagram rather than YouTube. Just saying. But, yeah, but, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day or evening or whatever time you guys happen to be watching this video. And I will definitely see you guys in my next one.